Hi, in front of me here we have a VGA over Cat5 uh, transmitter kit. Basically the range in this is 100 meters and what it does is we feed in a VGA output, for example as we have in front of us here, from a, a computer and we can run it then over a Cat5 cable and have it uh, come back out on the far end as a VGA. It supports both video and also audio, so there's twin inputs. VGA is video only remember and then we have a, um, an audio input on it as well. So let's just uh, look at um, what we're going to do in this video. We're going to give an overview of exactly what comes in the kit. We're going to give a more detailed uh, input then on how we put it together and then we'll give a demonstration of this actually in action and we're going to play one of our own YouTube videos uh, over the system and we'll see both video and audio working on it. So um, it comes to this outer box here, so it's a very neat little box. We have a power unit here, the output on it is 12 volts and 1 amp. Um, we have a user manual here that we have just in front of us. And then we come to the following. Uh, we have um, an audio cable here, so it's 3.5 millimeter. And then what we have is a, a USB powering port, something like we'd use on a printer really. And that's the powered uh, transmitter. And then we have a receiver unit that's powered directly off the power unit. So what I'm actually going to do at this point in time is I'm just going to come along and I'll just come to the front of the table and I think I'll be able to explain a little bit better from that point. So let's say we have a scenario here where we're going to take up our first VGA cable that actually comes in the kit and we're going to connect it on to an imaginary PC here. And what we have then is we have this VGA input cable which is of course carrying the video output from our PC. And we have our transmitter unit here and all we do is we simply come along and we push this in here. That's fine. And we grab an audio cable, we push it in here, and so now we could be taking the audio directly from our PC, along with the VGA directly from our PC, and we have it in the single output cable here, which of course uh, would be something like a Cat5 cable. We could use pre-terminated LAN cables, or we could have, we'll say, Cat5 cables that have been run in the wall, something like that. Now, the thing to note here is that we have a power input here as well, and what we'll be doing here is, we'll just get this and push this in here. And we'll get the USB connection here, and we'll just power it directly off of uh, a USB port on our PC. Okay, So that's how it's been ported, and, and because of that, it doesn't actually need a local power source, because it's been powered off the PC. Um, so imagine then on the far end, maybe up to 100 meters away, we have the actual input that comes in here, which of course would be our uh, LAN cable coming in here. And what we'd use here is just our power unit to power this. So we're taking the signal here, uh, this power light would come on of course when it's powered, and we'll have an output here, and the output is twofold. We have the VGA output for the picture, and with the audio output here as well. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to give a demonstration of what we have set up here. So on this particular setup here, on this um, little um, uh, PC, we have a, a VGA output here, it's just running in, and we have an audio output from here. So it's the two inputs are here. We have the power coming in that's been powered directly off the USB port on the, on the computer, and we have the single cable here, the, uh, the Cat5 cable, that's running to the receiver end, which is off over here. So I'm just going to quickly nip around behind, and I'm just going to show here, this is what we have. So we have the input here, and then we have the outputs, which is both a VGA output and an audio output. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to uh, lean down, and I'm just going to click on the play here. So that's of course my voiceover on um, a previous video we had on, on Cross CBG or something, I think. So as you can see, this is absolutely brilliant uh, in terms of what we can do here. So, you know, you can get VGA cables that run up to 50 meters, but they won't, of course, um, run up to 100 meters here, certainly. And it's not easy to do, which would say. So if you have a scenario, we'll say, where we're going to give a presentation, something like that, we want to connect to a monitor that's some distance away, and there's a Cat5 cable there pre-wired, we can very quickly come along, we can use this converter to run both our audio and our video through the Cat5 cable, have it pop out in the far end. In terms of picture loss, things like that, there is none. It's absolutely fantastic. VGA is capable of supporting sort of... Um, 
980p full HD, uh, as is this Cat5 cable here. So over a full 100 meter uh, run here, there's no discernible loss in picture quality. Um, so I really think it's a fantastic thing. It sits very nicely with our range of products because we also have a wide range of products that support sending, we'll say, um, uh, uh, HDMI over Cat5. So the VGA over Cat5 is a really nice add-on because we stock a very wide range of VGA cables as well. And this particular product here, I think is going to be very, very popular because simply it has a very wide range of applications. And the fact that it can support both video and audio means that it really is a winning product.